So you're going to make some of those lifestyle changes. You're going to sure. take those supplements. There's a whole host of other things that we need. Most of these things are going to be within 30 days of your surgery. Okay. So you're going to have to have a set of labs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, that, and that's where we look at your whole blood, how your kidneys work, how your liver works, mm -hmm. how your blood clots, how your thyroid is, make sure you're not pregnant. So would you recommend these lifestyle changes to happen before that first appointment or consultation? Or because that's what you're, we would tell them in that consultation, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, if you know that you're going to be doing this, mm -hmm. then the sooner you can start, the better. It's a, it's a better lead in. Mm -hmm. Then we'll order all of these labs for you. Would I, if I come to your office, would I be considered a good candidate for this procedure? Well, I mean, you're healthy. Mm -hmm. So that's number one that we want to make sure that people don't have medical problems sure. and, and all those other types of things. And then you have to have sufficient fat. You may kind of fall down on that one. And you want to make sure your skin is okay mm -hmm. to undergo liposuction, um, not have too much extra skin. But providing that you have sufficient fat and you're healthy and your skin is good, mm -hmm. then yeah, then you'd be a a candidate. And then after we institute all those lifestyle changes, and then we check your labs, one of the other labs we, we look for is what we call the A1C, which is a lab that looks at your long-term glucose levels in your blood. So for patients that have diabetes, you know, we would want to make sure that their A1C, which was what tells us their glucose has been good, mm -hmm. it looks at a three-month period. And we also get an EKG, mm -hmm. which looks at your looks at your heart. And, you know, we touched on a little bit about the hemoglobin and the diet, but sometimes I'll see patients come in and they're otherwise healthy, mm -hmm. but they'll have a low hemoglobin. But then all of their other what we call blood indices are off. Okay. How big their new cells are and a bunch of other things. And I think a lot of that is just diet related. So if you're eating a highly processed diet and your body's trying to make new red blood cells because you're low on them, it just you're not giving them the correct nutrients. So you don't really over overcome that with a vitamin, you overcome that with just clean eating.